It's not just one thing, it's, it's, it's a whole scope or scale of so many things. Uh, knowledge of the area, uh, building bylaws, um, legal matters. I would look at their, their website presence, uh, see how many listings they have, are they, does it look like they're, they're doing a lot of business. You want to do some research on uh, realtors in the area, probably interview two of your top picks and uh, see who would be the best fit for you. When people are starting the process of looking for a cottage in Halliburton County, they want to see from one end of the county to the other and maybe not realizing through that you're going through four different municipalities with each having their own bylaws, each having their own different setbacks. Say you're buying a vacant waterfront lot or even a vacant lot in general, um, we know the things to look for that if you were to get the municipality involved, what they're going to look for. If you're going to go out and you're going to buy a waterfront property, you want to be able to see what the shoreline looks like and the land looks like and, you know, can you even get in in the wintertime and do an inspection and see if the septic's okay. There's all those different factors. We have boats and four-wheelers and side-by-sides, snowshoes. Uh, Jeff now, he's got his pilot's license. You know, there's Remax agents all over the world and so we, you know, look into what things are working for other agents in other areas and we see what we could put into place that would work here. Things in the industry are always changing so you're always trying to do new things that other people aren't doing that, uh, you know, make a difference or catch people's eye. We've just purchased a drone. Small learning curve in the drone. Apparently I've been a little bit careless. We just got that uh, drone this year that uh, Troy's still learning how to fly. You want to be able to price your property well, especially now with all of the tools that are out there now the consumer is so educated on price. I've, I've done real estate in the city and you could price a house on a street, not even go there, not even see it, know exactly the model. Here it's every house is different, every house is unique. Typically most sellers or vendors are emotionally attached to that property. Our job as agents is to not bring all that emotional connection uh, and, and show them the facts that what's sold that compares to this to ultimately get you the, the price that you want. Real estate's definitely, definitely not a part-time role anymore. You, you know, you don't just sit in your office and wait for somebody to walk through the door while you read the, you know, the local paper. People are going to the internet, then they're finding their agent, then they're buying the property, rather than find their agent first to show them the property. If you can put enough information out there and use the tools through technology that are available, it's just made the business so much better. You really need someone that is taking that time to go through everything with the client.